the video we're going to be making today. It's going to be how we built these stairs. all trimmed up nice and flush now we can put veneer right on that is nice and set we're going on reported Friday so we had all day Friday Saturday Sunday Monday today's Tuesday so four nice days it's cured very well cured very well that really bright bright um, gray color is what you want Hey everyone, power washing was a success, I think. Very clean set of stairs now. I mean, let's just put them back in. We don't even here. <laughs> so, it's always good to clean these uh, precasts really good before you adhere any new stuff to it. What do you think, Benny? It's clean. I think what you got a nice that? haircut, bud. Gotta do a little look around there. Clean, right? Dude, you look like you're back in your sergeant days, mm. except you got a beard. They'll accept that one one day. Yep. Some branches, you know. They're gonna have to. Everybody likes beards. Mm -hmm. All right. You already got like two and a half, three feet. I think the steps are gonna hit it before your bucket. Goes. Underused tools, guys. Leverage. I think flings me up in the air. Do I look, bud? Come over a little bit more. Over this way more. All right, that should be good. Yep. All right, 
Maybe one more. Alrighty. You're up against it on that side. It's in the house. It's in the house over there, yep. A little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. The other side's still touching? The other side's still touching, yeah. I don't know, it's giving me some pressure. There you go. Good? Good. The other side's touching? Yep. Hi, bud, that looks good for me. Yeah, it looks great. Alright guys, doing this stuff, got to show you if it's level or not. Tell me. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Like I was telling you with the flashing, we didn't have to go all the way up. The granite is probably going to be, let's say stop right about there. Actually, right where the level is, it's about two and a half inches. So, there'll be another couple inches, two and a half inches above the granite to uh, to protect the water from going in. We're gonna start doing some stone veneer. Let me show you. This isn't like uh, true, true stone veneer. They're um, panels, they're called interlocking panels. And uh, in the factory, they put them together like this. Northeast New England blend interlocking veneer. So that's a corner piece. So that's how they're made right there. Northeast interlocking veneer. They sell three different types of pieces. You have half pieces like this, so that when you start a row, you can slide it in, and then that's how it interlocks. Two pieces wrap around it. That'd be pretty much a full piece like that. So to make this full piece with a male end turn into a full piece with a female end, they make half pieces. If you don't have half pieces, you can cut them in half to make it work. But it's a little bit off of a measurement compared to the actual ones they give you. So you have two half pieces and you flip them upside down. It creates the female end to link up to the male end. And all these stones, as you can tell, are a little bit higher than the step. So these are all going to get marked um, just the exact same height as this step. We'll mark them and then trim them all down to the size they need to be. And then uh, when you get into situations like this, what we're going to do is make a mark on this piece and cut this piece off. And then once this sits in, the corner sits in and meets this piece, all we're going to have to do is put a piece right here and a piece right there. Any of you that have done stone veneer, you can uh, testify to how much faster this stuff is. Um, it's obviously not. Uh, as good a quality as like just regular thin stone veneer and, and make it a nice pattern you kind of uh, Just make it fit in the manufacturing facility. You see all these pieces They're kind of irregular um, It's not exactly how you'd want to leave regular stone veneer, but this is a, a much cheaper option when it comes to uh, saving time saving labor 
Um, that's what a lot of customers can't really afford with the veneer is how long it takes to actually do it. So this actually cuts down um, this cuts down the the, the labor rate, uh, not labor rate, but the actual amount of labor to finish a project like this. Cuts that down a lot, which is what saves the customer money. lunch we went and got our treads for the steps made a few more cuts and here we are Benny's got some mortar made he's already got the first corner stuck oh Ardex in the sweatshirt <laughs> live caught it live all right that's why you get it should work close <laughs> so that piece right there is coming from the corner that's a full piece comes in and then this half piece goes under the two full pieces creating a new spot for a full piece to sit on and interlock with both pieces so let me show you real quick setting this in what I mean so now in a matter of a few seconds covered really good amount of square footage I'm gonna take this measurement from here to here all right guys 19 and a half was the measurement let's go see if it fits together Another big amount of square footage covered. And as you can see, it'll be another full piece right here. So let's go grab that. So there you go. Almost to the top. Okay, everyone. We, uh, have done a lot since we last videotaped. Show you where we're at. We are done the veneer. So those are our steps. All veneered. It's not easy to see the sides. I'll try to show you. So, I think all in all, from when we started the veneer to when we finished, it was probably, I'd say, six and a half hours of labor for two guys. And the stairs are all veneered. We're going to try to get the uh, one, two, three steps on today. So, the next move is to cut these. These are six foot treads. They're already rock faced, as you can see. So we're gonna be cutting these and also rock facing them myself. So 